All right, question. How do you, how do you, excuse, Jonathan, how do men really feel about a woman's number of previous partners? Does it really matter? Oh, that's an interesting one. Do men care about how many sexual partners you've had? I think if you've had 500, that might be a red flag to a guy, not a red flag, but might be a turnoff to a guy. I think most men at midlife are going to assume you've had somewhere between one and 10 men sexually in your life. Okay. And so, but if that number is much greater than that, and quite frankly, these days, it's quite possible that men and women alike could have a number in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, even 100. I would just prefer not answering that question. If someone says how many partners you've had, I would just simply say I've had several serious relationships where I've been intimate, but I never kept count. And that's about as far as I would say. I've had several serious relationships where I've been intimate with a partner, um, but I don't keep count. And I might have even had a one night stand in there. Um, intentional, might want to say an intentional one night stand. Sometimes, ladies, you've had a one night stand not thinking it was going to be a one night stand. So I'm just going to say you might say, yeah, I had I did a one night stand one time. Um, but I would not divulge the number. I just think it's a turnoff to get into that kind of depth. It's nobody's business how many sexual partners you've had. And again, I think most people at this point in our lives are going to assume you've had somewhere between one and 10. Again, if that number is much higher, I just wouldn't want to divulge that. But you know what? Each their own. You know what? If you feel comfortable, then if you've been with 100 people, then share it. I don't know how guys will feel about that. I think most guys probably would judge it. Just like most women would judge a guy if he's had hundreds and hundreds of sexual partners. This is the problem with human beings. We judge people based on their behavior without ever knowing the why these things happen. We prejudge based on some stupid notion that it really matters. What matters most is are you building a healthy, happy sexual relationship with your partner along with the emotional relationship and the deep roots to trust? That's what matters most, at least in my world. And I hope it does in your world as well. Sadie, thank you so much. Great question. All right.